Welcome back to Let's Play JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind. We're currently running away from White Album. Because we kind of have to get somewhere, and we kind of have to not have him stop us. Now this is the first time you actually get to play as Mista, so you get to see his nifty little stand. It is called... Sex Pistols! I was going to let Mista introduce it, but okay, thank you. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah, dang it, I was talking about it too. Oh well. Now, Mista uses a gun. Now, Mista uses a gun. A, an actual six bullet revolver. His stand, Sex Pistols, is essentially a six part stand. There are six tiny little guys that follow him around. What he does is he follows a bullet and has one of his stands hold on to the bullet, which lets him steer in midair. Or lets him steer the bullet in midair. Like you were saying before, it's actually a pretty nifty stand overall, but it's really tricky to work it's out. It's a in the game. good stand, it's just in game. Ugh. Now, since the entire purpose here is to get to your destination, you have a timer in the upper right corner. You have 38 seconds before you get there. You just have to not die until then. Oh, that was close. Okay, making progress, making progress. We should you probably won't see it in this fight, but he actually has an aversion to the number four. Yeah, he believes the number four to be horrendously unlucky. Do it a previous childhood event where he had a he got a kitten, the fourth of the litter, and it died on him. So ever since then, he's considered the number four to be unlucky. Wow, that was better. Oh yeah. You see his stand, there are only six of them, but they're numbered one to seven, leaving out number four. And if at any given point he only has four bullets left in his chamber, he'll curse his bad luck for having only four left. But it doesn't stop him from anything, he's just kind of, oh. Yeah, it's just kind of a stupid little scene you see at the top of the screen. And now, we should be close to actually fight Moid out himself. Yeah, having actually reached their destination by this point, now they're going to cut a whole lot out of this fight here, because a lot of this fight took place in the water. Yeah, even Jorno got into the fight. Yeah, which is one thing we should mention. Jorno doesn't get nearly enough airtime in this game for being the main character. They skip Babyface. Yeah, they That's skipped... where they find out he can heal people yeah, with they his skipped... hand. Yeah, they skipped a lot of his battles. Most importantly of which, they skipped the Babyface fight, which is where Jorno learned he can heal people with his ability. Which comes into play later on. In a very hilarious cutscene. Indeed. <laughs> now, the fight here was interesting because the car crashed into the water, and in the manga they were fighting White Album while in the water, trying to get to the shore. They also used it to discover, try to discover where his weak point is because anything that gets close to his ice armor, he even tries to hit it, it doesn't he lowers hit the it. He lowers the temperature to absolute zero. Nothing which can move at absolute zero. Yeah, at absolute zero, there is no energy left, so nothing moves. So he's essentially invincible. So they were trying to figure out where his weak point was. And they discovered that his weak point is in the back of his neck. But either way, this fight begins then. They kind of cut out all the water stuff and just take care of the stuff on land, really. Because a water fight would probably not have been that fun with a gun. Yeah, it would have been a little odd. Which you actually see in the background, the car. Yeah, you see the car. And Should you hear, actually hear Giorno yelling to you from the car. This is a crap fight, folks. Really, this is one of the harder fights in the game. Not because it's overly hard, it's hard to get the secret factor. Now, the first secret factor you saw there was he had to shoot the lion statue. That lion statue was actually where, haha. -ha. Wow, I actually pulled out Gently Weeps early. Wow. Did one stand there next to him? <laughs> Thug! 
Now, the lion statue is actually where the disc was that held the, um, the information about the boss's whereabouts. Yep. Which is then what our good friend White Album here was trying to get. Now, our second one... There we are, that was quick. Yeah. You get your second secret factor during this little cutscene thing. All of this is they're mentioning that... I think they're mentioning that their attacks are essentially useless. Yeah, and you've just basically busted open a spike on there. Yeah. Which kind of becomes important here later. And now he gets to use Gently Weeps. Yeah, and, and now White Album will really start using Gently Weeps. Which, Gently Weeps, it reflects your attacks back at you. It's actually the air freezing around him, reflecting back at him. Yeah, it's, uh, not pretty. Now, by shooting these lampposts, you create spikes on them, uh, on them. I'm not entirely sure how the spikes got there in the manga. Yeah! Oh yeah! Bitch is down! Oh. You get back on there. You get your final secret factor for knocking him onto the spike. Do you have did you get the secret factor for that? Yeah. So all you have to do now is kill him. Dang, I was gonna stick him back on. Is in the manga, what happened is Giorno. I think it was Giorno created the spikes that were coming out of there and actually had a branch of some form or another grow out. Ooh, that didn't go. Grow out into White Album's weak point in the back of his neck. So it grew into his neck. Yep. Well, something like that, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Exactly. And then Mista shot him from the front to force him into it. Much. Much bloodshed. Blood and, was lost. Yeah, much bloodshed and pain was to be had. Woo. Oh, you bitch. Ah! Freaking gently weeps. Now, White Album. You sure you Why did I do that? You sure you want to stand that close to him? I'm not trying to. Stand away from him and finish him off. You've got no <laughs> life left. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> He's just messing with me. Quit trying to get him on the thing. Ah! Battle end. He was so heading towards the spikes. Yeah. Since White Album can control air temperature, I'm fairly sure we don't have enough time for the next cutscene, so we'll end it here. But I'll just explain real quick. Since White Album can control the air temperature around him, he can lower the temperature to absolute zero, making it so essentially he's invincible. Yep. Which is why you saw most of his bullets essentially bounce off whenever Mista shot him. At least when Gently Weeps was up. Yeah. Well, even normally you wouldn't see you'd see him bounce off. Well, from the front, it yeah. didn't do anything. If you shoot him from the back where his weak point is, it will still hurt him, though. But that is it for White Album, so next time we shall continue here. So until then, so long, everyone.